Hello and welcome to my next YouTube tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw a fleur de lis pattern, which is a traditional pattern with the Affinity Designer pattern template. You can find an introduction and the download in the top right corner in the info box of this tutorial. Let's get started. I select the title, the text tool with T, and rename the title. I double click the symbol of the drawing area to zoom in, expand the layers and disable the sample text. I select the insert target inside the selection and from the toolbar I select the tier tool which is here. I then start to draw a tier from the center turn the tier by 180 degree and move the tear down into my symbol area. While pressing command I will expand the width, convert the shape into curves, change this knot into a sharp knot, move it up a little bit, take this one and this one, move them down a bit. The left one I don't need, so I select the node and press the delete key. This should be a bit smaller and this part here should be a bit rounder in this direction. So a bit like this. At next I select the diamond tool which you find here and draw a diamond from the center of my rectangle while pressing Command and Shift. I will select both layers to change the fill color of the diamond and the curve to 910000. Press Enter and close. So I take the diamond and move it a bit up, convert to curves, select this one on the left side and press delete. And I will now a bit higher. I will then convert this with the anchor tool or the knot tool like this and this one like this. Move it a bit higher, well that's too high, like this, okay. Select them both, create a duplicate with Command J, group these new elements and turn them off in the Layers panel. I move the half tier on the top of my elements inside the rectangle. And I will now create a smaller object of this one. Command J, 
change the fill color back to yellow and shrink the whole element while pressing shift and command just a bit like this move it to the middle and I will do the same thing with a half diamond command J change fill color and with command and shift I will shrink it a bit and move it oops ah, okay yeah to the mid I will turn off the stroke of all these elements turn them off 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 and off I will move the yellow half tier exactly to the middle which is here you can see this here if you look at here it must be 460 and the yellow half diamond is okay in the next step I would like to add the half red diamond and the half red tier together with the add operation I move them on top of each other and select them and press add in the next step I would like to subtract these both elements from this one I select them all and these bows will subtract it from the one at the bottom in the layer panel so I press subtract and you have now this shape on the upper side I would like to have this one and made a duplicate turn it on and we'll flip it horizontal move it to the left exactly oops exactly in the middle of the rectangle and this is the first part in the next step I would like to draw the right leaf and I select the ellipse tool go to the rectangle insert target and draw an ellipse change mm, not the stroke the fill color rotate it a bit and move it to this position let me say this position Ah, oh, that would be fine made a copy of this command J shrink the copy a bit move the copy outside and subtract the little ellipse from the big one subtract okay I will work a little bit on this one so I choose the note tool with the key A and will rearrange a bit these let me do it like this okay okay that's okay mm. at next I use the crescent tool draw a small crescent fill color yellow 
and turn this crescent. Okay. Okay. Convert to curves. Let me zoom in a bit. If you press the spacebar, I guess you already know, without the nodes or the anchor points. So Okay, I zoom back onto the drawing area or into the drawing area. And as you can see, my crescent is not at the right place. It should be inside the rectangle. So I move it here. And I would like to subtract this crescent from this curve. So I select them both, go on subtract. And we have it. Switch to the Move tool while pressing V. Create a duplicate while pressing Command J. Flip horizontal. Hold Shift and move it to the other side. One last step. I will draw a rounded rectangle around here. Fill it with red, turn on the strokes in yellow, change the stroke alignment into inside, activate scale with object, this is important, and made it a bit smaller. And let me zoom in. Make the corners with a corner tool round. So, sorry, I have to change the stroke color to red and the fill color to yellow. Okay. Zoom back into the drawing area and now I would like to group the whole fleur de lis. Create a copy while pressing Command J. Select the Move tool and change the size of my fleur de lis. Take the fleur de lis and move it to the top right corner, top left corner, excuse me. Create a copy, Command J, or create three copies. Okay, and move the next one while pressing shift to this side. This one while pressing shift to the bottom. Oops. Wait a second. So, and one more. And this one to this side. So let's have a look at the whole document. It's not perfectly aligned. So this one should be a bit higher. And there we have our new pattern with the beautiful fleur de lis. Press the top key to turn off your workspace. Press Command Zero. And I say thanks for watching. If you have any questions, 
post them in the comment section below. See you next time at Mensch Mesh.